My name is Caden Wilson, and I've been playing baseball for as long as I can remember. Caden has always gravitated towards sports. The first word he learned to say when he was around two years old was, was ball. From the time he was four, I think we started playing baseball at uh, the local park. Caden was getting ready for a high school baseball game and they were warming up in the cages and he was loading the pitching machine and his teammate hit a line drive right back at him. The ball hit him in the right temple. Um, he immediately lost consciousness and fell to the ground. His teammates came out running to get me in. He had actually regained consciousness when, by the time I had gotten to the, to the cages, but it was lights on, no one home. I immediately knew that something was, was really wrong. He was just super confused and just kind of kept repeating that he felt like he was dying. So we called 911 immediately. They came and assessed him and um, ultimately told us that we could take him by, by our car if we wanted and I, I did not feel comfortable putting him in my car. Um, and in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't because we made it to, to Children's 10 minutes before he bottomed out. So when the ball struck Caden in the head, it gave him a skull fracture. And the skull fracture uh, cut one of the arteries that's on the outside of the brain. And because of this cut or laceration, he developed a large blood clot and it was causing significant pressure on his brain. Every minute counted to take care of the injury. Any delay in his injury would have been much more severe or possibly even not even made it through the injury. I woke up in the PICU, um, really confused, not really knowing what was going on, and then asking my parents what happened, and then giving me the rundown, and then really struggling to understand the severity of everything and why I wouldn't be able to play our next game. He actually did spend a fair amount of time in our rehabilitation unit working with our therapists, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, and then also a significant period of time after that, continuing to work with them to rebuild his strength and get back to his normal state of being. I remember the first day where um, after we were working through just getting him to sit up, stand up, put his shoes on, be able to eat again, and learning to his, get his balance and, and really walk again. And so it hit me that day, I was like, this is, this is a big deal. It's gonna be a long path to recovery. Walking into Caden's room, I could just tell that he had such a great support system, but you could tell was also having trouble managing some of those emotions um, and frustrations, especially related to his injury um, and what he was able to do before his injury and what he was limited to now. Caden was one of those kids that met his goals really quickly. Um, he was very motivated. In our darkest time, I thought we ended up at the best place he could have possibly been to have a shot uh, that night, having that surgery and making it through. And then for his recovery, being at Children's, I think gave me tremendous hope. Yeah, so right now Caden's doing great. A year after recovery, he's driving. Um, he, he made the varsity baseball team as a sophomore at North Gwinnett, which was a huge accomplishment after working hard to recover and rehab from his injury. Um, if all goes well, his junior year and his senior year, we'd like to see him have a chance to play baseball at the next level in college. Um, so, and I think that, you know, he's, he's a hard worker. He's overcome a lot. And I think there's a reason that um, he was able to survive that day. And I don't think his story's finished being told. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest yeah. of that story um, entails. Thank you.